Here's our next problem. A physical chemist measures the width of a molecule. The width is 92 nanometers. What is the width in meters? Write your answer in scientific notation. They ask us to write our answer in scientific notation because it's obviously going to be a very, very small value, small decimal, because nanometers, um, a nanometer is a billion times smaller than a meter. So how do we begin? Well, let's see where they, uh, where we begin as far as the units of our measurement. We start at 92 nanometers. They want us to go from a nanometer to a meter. We need to derive a conversion factor to help us to do that, and we can do that by knowing the meanings of the metric prefixes. If I know the meaning of the prefix nano, I can derive this conversion factor. One nanometer is equal to 10 to the minus nine meters. Now that I have this conversion factor, let's express it as either one nanometer for 10 to the minus nine meters or 10 to the minus nine meters for every one nanometer. Okay, so these are two expressions we've derived from this conversion factor. They both mean the same thing. They both are derived from this conversion factor. But the difference between these two expressions is I use one or the other depending on what my starting units are and what my ending units need to be. In this case, my starting units are nanometers and I need them to be meters. So in order to eliminate the units of nanometers here and to convert to meters, I needed to use the expression that when I multiply 92 nanometers by it, the units of nanometers will cancel out. That expression would be this one. So therefore, when I place it here, one nanometer, 10 to the minus nine meters, nanometers disappears and the units I'm left with meters. My answer will be something meters. So let's see what my answer would be, what this decimal is. So I place into my calculator 92 times, and in parentheses, 10 to the minus nine is going to be equal to Again, a very, very small number. A number comes out to be 0 0.000000092. So there's the value. Let's place it in scientific notation. In order to do that, we need to place the decimal right after the first non-zero digit. That would be nine. So the decimal needs to move to the right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So in scientific notation, our answer would be 9.2 times 10 to the negative eight. The reason it is negative eight because this is a very, very small value. The power should be negative since the value is less than one.